guys, it's been a while. Like anime injected straight into your eyeballs. Welcome to another episode of Controller Punch. This is Blaze Fucking Blue. And it's gotten a lot of hype. It's gotten a lot of hype. It's gotten a lot of acclaim. Claim, yeah. It's a gorgeous looking 2D fighter. This is 2D characters against 2D high res backgrounds. It's, I think it runs at 1080i and 720p. It is something to behold on your screen. Yeah, it did. Especially the backgrounds on that. I mean, art direction on this was fucking awesome. Backgrounds look great. You know, it's not Guilty Gear, whatever, but there's new characters, there's a full storyline. This is actually a pretty feature rich video game. Yeah, some of the characters will have uh, their own bars or grab, or uh, not grabs, fucking, you know, basically something to indicate when they can do their own specific abilities. Um, the character Bang Shishigami uses nails, so he'll have a nail count. Yeah, there's definitely a, there's no palette swapping in this game. You know, there aren't two characters that play exactly alike. Each character they've spent their time on and is rather individual, so that's great. Yeah, and it totally shows, too. And, uh, I mean, I think that also leads into one problem. So you have very few characters that are similar, but then you don't have a ton of different choices. That was one problem I had with the game, was that playing through versus mode, there were, you know, the, com the character selection seemed a bit slim, but maybe they've got downloadable content coming. Yeah, I would hope so. I would hope so. And even the story modes, I mean, I don't know, I don't think all of the characters were available for story mode. Um, but luckily that all the characters, for, e for each character, there was at least two, probably three ways to play through their story. It was yeah. kind of a very choose-your-own-adventure kind of feel, yeah. And I mean, and that's included with a uh, regular arcade mode that has story elements in it, a versus mode, of course, and online play. So I mean, this is a blast to play online. And uh, I mean, all fighting games usually are. And uh, I found this to be pretty balanced. It was excellent in that regard. You know, each of your characters seem to have different abilities to kind of keep them in the game. Yeah. Uh, wasn't too much overpowering going on. Like, there was not, you know, the Zangief character who can basically just grab you from anywhere and take you out in two hits. Yeah, I found, I mean, all of our matches together seemed very, very close in the end. Obviously, we were still learning the system. Um, and it's quite in-depth. There's... You know, there's extreme supers, there's all sorts of uh, tricks that you can do, and it's combo, combo heavy. Yeah, so actually it came with that uh, a DVD that went very in-depth into all the different combos for each character. Um, well, that's the limited edition first run, so if you get out the game, get it as soon as you can, you get a DVD that sort of explains the system, explains the moves, and gives you some combo help. And after watching it, you certainly do see your game improve after you kind of, you know, get into the deep and dark, dirty fucking corners of controlling the booby lady. Yeah. Well, actually, that's the one thing, talking about control, that I found this game controlled well. You have your weak, medium, and then fierce attack, and then your drive, your drive attack, which is like a special move that you can work into it. And I found that this played beautifully on the standard PlayStation controller. Uh, this is what we played it on. I don't know about the 360. I imagine the D-pad's going to be a little bit shit, as always. As always. But um, also, it also works well on a arcade stick so yeah, either we played, way we, play, we played a little bit with the arcade stick um i just i, I prefer the controller just it's a little bit more well just for the drive attacks and and so forth everything was kind of at my fingertips and so i kind of liked it with this game well sort of like the original guilty gears i like playing those on the, the standard playstation pad so anyways is this game worth a rental worth the purchase what do you think i'd buy this game uh, it's 2D bliss, as far as I'm concerned. The only thing that I wish they had improve is loading times. Yeah, the lo sitting through loading screens was kind of weird for that. Yeah, just especially after the Dreamcast. But I mean, even still, go and pick it up. I mean, it's fucking awesome.